What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I'd like to talk about draft prospect DeMarvion Overshone, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content, hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support, continuing to share out my content on all the social media platforms, if you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jutalk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Jutalk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So in today's video, I do want to talk about draft prospect DeMarvion Overshone. Uh, he actually played his college ball at the University of Texas. Uh, he is a linebacker, um, goes about 6'3", uh, 230 pounds, and I definitely think he should be a linebacker or a player that the Falcons uh, could possibly draft in this upcoming 2023 draft. Uh, Demarion Overshone, I believe, will be either a third or fourth round pick in this upcoming draft. Um, he is a very shifty and athletic um, linebacker. He actually started uh, his college career as a DB and they changed his position at the University of Texas from defensive back uh, to linebacker. But he's one of those guys that I think would be a great coverage linebacker, uh, would be a great linebacker in general because of his athleticism. Uh, his comp would be a player like Deion Jones, former, uh, former Atlanta Falcons, uh, great linebacker. Um, I definitely think that uh, the best attribute that DeMarvion Overshone has is his ability uh, to cover in space and his closing speed. He's a guy that when you play zone, if you go look at some of his highlights and things of that nature, uh, he's one of those guys that closes the gap very quickly on running backs and on wide receivers. And when he's going to get the football, he doesn't miss many tackles, but he's a guy that's a read and react type player. And we know in today's NFL, you have to have linebackers and players that can cover in space. And to me, De uh, DeMarvion Overshone is possibly the best coverage linebacker uh, in this draft. I've seen a lot of guys like Jack Campbell, uh, guys like Drew Sanders. Those guys are downhill linebackers, but they don't really cover well in space. They're very good uh, instinctual as far as they are able to read plays before they happen and see plays before they happen. But they're not the greatest athletes. They're really big guys at 6'5", um, and they're guys that like to come downhill. The Marvion Overshone, because he played DB, he has uh, great instincts as far as in coverage. He understands space. He understands uh, route concepts and things of that nature. And he is very good at closing in on the ball, closing in on the football. And I definitely think that that's something that was missing last year from Atlanta Falcons team. Um, Rashawn Evans, we know struggles in coverage. Um, Troy Anderson at times struggled in coverage as well because he was a rookie and he's new to the NFL game. And then also Michael Walker. Uh, also struggled last year in certain instances in coverage as well. So having a guy like DeMarvion Overshone on this team, he could come in and definitely help in third and long situations and in passing situations because he's kind of a Swiss Army knife uh, type defender because he's played DB. He's a guy who can man up against tight ends and also man up against uh, running backs coming out of the backfield. And like I stated, he's also a guy um, that you possibly can use to spy quarterbacks because the NFL now has changed, you know, to a lot of RPO and there's a lot of quarterback keepers and things of that nature where majority of the quarterbacks now in the NFL are mobile quarterbacks, guys that can leave the pocket and create, you know, create outside of the pocket. You need athletic linebackers. You need guys uh, that can keep the quarterback in the pocket. And when they leave the pocket, you need guys athletic enough to run sideline to sideline. And I think that's something that the Marvion Overshone um, excels at is his, his ability to read and react, his ability uh, to understand route concepts and also his closing speed, where if you do have an athletic uh, quarterback, he's able to chase those guys down and he has the athleticism um, and the agility, you know, to keep up with those athletic quarterbacks like the Lamar Jackson and like the Jalen Hurts and guys like that, that run the football, guys like Josh Allen. So with that being said, you guys let me know what you think of the Marvion Overshone. I definitely think he would be a huge asset for this Falcons team. Um, I don't think he'll come in and start right away if the Falcons draft him, but he could be a future 
um, star in this league. I definitely think he could be a future star uh, linebacker just because of his athleticism, his ability uh, to read his keys and things of that nature. And he's one of those guys that's really, really athletic, but definitely um, would excel in the current NFL game with the athletic hybrid type linebackers. But with that being said, this has been your boy, Jew. I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up, be blessed. Peace.